So now let's really feel the weight, gravity, right? Isn't it amazing that we, with the force of gravity, that we are standing vertically? It's very, some days it's a little harder than others. So hands by your sides, relax. And now find your feet. You can have your feet a little bit apart. So we really are there, good, grounded. And now let's explore this arc of gravity and weight. Now balanced in the horizontal. Now we turn our palms up, which opens the whole of this part of us, yeah? To this arc of light above us, and it's behind us as well, right up to our star above us. So your weight comes, your heels come off the ground just a tiny bit. You don't have to go up high to feel this. And expanding out, touching this whole sky to the wide horizons. And now let's sink down. We give ourselves over to gravity. Not completely, but a little bit. Oh, good. Get those crackles out. Snap, crackle, and pop. And now pressing down into the earth, drawing up to the horizontal again to balance. This is balance. And now let's draw forward to the center. Yeah, come on right. There you go, you periphery people. You have a center too. Now let's shift our attention to the periphery. Open your wings. And now, ah, opening out behind. Now, my darlings, if your chin is down, are you open behind? No. Isn't that amazing? So just lifting your chin to the middle or just a tiny bit up. We don't have to look up because then we lose ourselves. So just a little bit up. And now again, let's find that common center. Good, yes. We're touching right across the circle. Yeah? And now shifting our attention. Ah, 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 don't be in a big rush. Transitions take a little time. There we go. Expanding out. Good. And now let's draw in. I behold myself. So our hands become like a mirror. Yeah? I behold the world. I behold the world in myself. I behold myself in the world. The wishes of the soul are quickened. The deeds of the will wax and grow. The fruits of life are ripening. I feel my destiny. My destiny finds me. I feel my star. My star finds me. I feel my goals. My goals find me. My soul and the world, they are one. Life will be clear around me. Life will be challenging for me. Life will be richer in me. And let's just breathe out a little bit. Now, is there anyone here I forgot to ask yesterday who's never done your with me? Great, good, because then I can really be, we can start at the beginning for everybody. It's good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the vowel sounds, okay? We're going to go through the, the archetypal vowel sounds. Ah, let's all say them together. Ah, A, E, O, O. So right there in our speech organism, we have the ah is open, yeah? A starts to come in. E is in the center. O takes us forward. And O takes us beyond ourselves, okay? So here we have visible speech in eurythmy. Visible tone and visible speech. Unfortunately, we can't do tone, but maybe we could figure something out next week. 
little recorder playing from someone, um, to do rhythms with music. So, ah, when do we ever say ah? See, the consonants you can't say, except one, you can't say by themselves. They don't really, but little babies, you know, the first thing they do is, you just go, ah, to a child. You're like your daughter, and she goes, <laughs> right? She does, ah, and it's the sound of what? Ah. Hmm? Amazement. Amazement, wonder, yeah, that which we are in awe of. You climb finally to the top of Mount Monadnock in New Hampshire or wherever you are. I don't, do you have any mountains not in Oregon. Kansas? <laughs> huh? No, not Oregon. <laughs> yes, yes, no, right. That well, no. <laughs> that would be a, a big no. Okay. Uh, and you finally get there, and I did my training, eurythmy, therapeutic eurythmy training in Switzerland, and there's, you know, the Jungfrau. And you just, finally, you're just, your or you see at the ocean, you see the, hor the horizon. You know, in here it's beautiful. You know, as I said, driving up a road, and you're look, you look, it's this little hill, little hill. And you look like you're driving up into the sky, yeah? And there's this sense of awe and wonder, yeah? And in our modern times, we've lost the sense of awe, you know, and wonder which is too bad, because it keeps us healthy. And here's why. Come in a little bit. So. Ah, yeah. And now, you are not going to speak. You, with your words, you're going to speak with your arms. So that feeling of ah will go into your gesture. I have to do both, because I'm the teacher, you know. I work on that later. So here we go. And we're going to take a few steps out and open our wings behind, because this is where ah is. Ah. And come in. So ah is a gesture of opening. We're not streaming out, but we're open, so that which we are in awe, awe of streams into us. Yeah? Can you see that? I'm not streaming out. I'm opening myself to receive. It's a real big difference. So let's try that and open our arms and feel that if there's something you can imagine that you really, like little children are like that. You just look at them and you go, oh, right. Oh. And let's do that again. And now you are speaking with your arms, so you have to. The, the whole process of eurythmy, and this is how Steiner describes it, because there's movement in the larynx, the whole speech organism. You dam up those forces. He literally says, damming up, holding back those forces, and they go out through your gesture. Okay? So zip it. Here we go. Do it a couple times. Ah, and rest. So you're intoning the sound. Ah, and pause. And I see lots of elbows. Let's see if we can, when we do our gestures, that we don't go into the elbows. Really full extension, okay? Practicing that. Especially for you as teachers. When you stand in front of the children, you have to really practice having your gestures be full of life and being accurate. Otherwise, they'll ap they do this anyway. But if you're doing it as well, you'll never get them to do this. 